Hello, so I'm going to get into this pretty fast because the things are going to start moving soon. So last night, me, Dark Angel, and Bear, we went and we did the Veil vale Guardian raid raid boss, and we ended up defeating him. I think it ended up taking like five or six tries. We got close most of the times, um, getting him down to like 20 or 18% health, um, but then we eventually did it, and it was awesome, and it was super fun. It was my first time raiding. I was super excited. Um, so then I kind of just got to some footage and I kind of want to do it just recap so that hopefully we and other members of the guild can do this together and we can be successful in our attempt. Um, things are going to be moving pretty fast. I'm going to try and explain them as they come up, but things will be cycling back around again. So if I miss it, I'll just explain it when the next phase happens. So this boss has two phases and five cycles. Um, he has a combined form and then he has a phase where he splits out into three different guardians. Um, it starts out with him in the combined, then he splits up, then he combines again, then he splits up, and then the last phase he combines and then after that you're done. Um, so he has three guardians that have three powers and so real quick the three powers that you see is one, he summons blue teleportation circles. So if you're standing in them, you'll be teleported somewhere else within this little circle. You see these green circles here that you need a minimum of four people in them um, or everybody on the field will take damage. Um, if nobody's in there, I think it completely wipes you. And we were pretty sure we couldn't test it out for certain because this isn't one of the things you want to test out to like just fail for the purposes of testing. Or, or maybe you do. I won't judge. Um, we think that each person reduces the damage by 25%. Having above four people in the circle isn't necessary. Um, but it's just a safe practice and if you see most of these times we end up having like six or like five or six people go towards it better safe than sorry um, and then you see these red orbs that just do damage as you go by um, so then actually pretty soon I think when he gets to 66% is when he splits into his three different forms that should be coming up soon so then when he splits up each of the three people will do their things um, the blue person will do the teleportation circles the green person will do the hey stand in my green circle thing and the red person will do the red orbs um the one unique thing being that the red person only takes damage from condition damage so we have a couple of people who do condition damage go over to the red guy and then we pull the green guy and the blue guy close to each other so that we can kind of do damage to them at the same time and it makes life easier one thing that if you'll see right now you'll see this like blue symbol over my head and maybe we'll see somebody with a green symbol ah, i really can't see it um but maybe it would show up if we have one of their perspectives. So when you're, if you see here how the, the circle is split into three pie slices, um, when you are in, when the boss splits up and you're in the section that one of the guardians spawns in, you will kind of be tied to that guardian. And if you are away from that guardian while he is still alive, you'll take damage over time. Once you kill that guardian, you can leave him and go attack the other guardians and you're safe. But, for example, if you've got the blue symbol, stay near the blue guardian. If you've got a green symbol, stay near the green guardian. Um, we did have some sore spot of players kind of like running away or trying to do multiple things at once with guardians that weren't the ones that they were colored with. And it 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 gave us some real troubles trying to keep them up and running um, and and did a run or two. Um, so as we see here now, the boss has combined again, and we now see there's this green portion of the floor. Um, so this will happen the same thing when he splits up and he combines for the final third time. Um, just, it's what you would expect. Section, sections of the floor become unsafe to stand on. You, you see that I was taking a, a hefty amount of damage. So then the person who is leading the boss, um, which I learned that's the other day, the person with the highest toughness actually is who the boss will autom automatically target. Um, you've probably seen it by now, this really big red arrow, which is super convenient. Um, so they're just leading him into the pie sections that won't kill us. Um, and we're just trying to follow him. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I am digressing here. My thoughts are going away. Um, so that's really the mechanics of it. Um, we've seen the two cycles already and they're just going to repeat and they'll get worse. Um, or when he splits apart, it'll be the exact same thing. Um, when he combines for the third time, two out of the three sections will be lighting up and will be taking damage and one section will be safe. Um, man, see like these teleportation circles are really bad, especially when I think I was only one of two heal supports, support slash healers that we had. Well, I guess so. We, we had three supports because we had Dark Angel on his Mesmer, Mesmer Master Race. Um, so that's kind of the mechanics of it. Um, and if I said anything too fast, which is incredibly likely, or I said anything that was confusing or wrong, um, you'll have a couple of examples 
visual expand ex yeah, visual examples just in the last like four minutes or so of this video that you kind of look at it and be like okay isaac said this thing wrong but i can clearly see this the case here so i kind of want to take these last couple of minutes just to talk about um what it was like doing the raid or what we had what we did with what we had and where it was enough and where it wasn't enough so the main mechanic that was giving us trouble was actually the green circles that you see that we have to run to um earlier on it wouldn't be too big of a problem because you can see here um we can just keep my camera super wide when i'm looking at the boss i can kind of just make sure i'm at an angle where since it pops up behind us i can see it and i can run to it and it's no problem um, where it really becomes an issue it's really in the last phase when the two sections of the pie become dangerous to stand on um I think mainly what was happening was that to keep the main party safe, the guy who was leading the boss was being very active and keeping the boss moving very far away from us. So then at a certain point, we would go to the green circle, it would spawn behind us, we would go and run to it. And then there would just be this large differential between where the boss, where, where one part of the group was and where the other part of the group was. So then one, one or two people might go down in the group that's trying to do the green circles. Then only two people are in the circle when it goes through. Everybody takes 50% damage. Maybe a healer can't bring people up. Um, so really what we had to do was we, I think, or we'll see it here. Um, just after five or six tries, we really got it down um, of keeping the group together and keeping everybody close so that we could really stack heals when we needed to. And then also just not take, not take unnecessary damage um though maybe something we could do if we were p purposely going in with 10 people we could control actively what they were maybe we could bring more supports or healers and when we know we can't make a circle we can just send one person and then so it's not 100 percent of our health and then we can just stack heals and get people back up to full um the teleportation circles were kind of annoying and they on a couple of runs they gave us some problems but I think that's something of you just have to it the really only problem is that man there's a lot of particle effects and sometimes it can be hard to see once you kind of can get used to it it's not that bad and then also this entire time we were calling out green whenever we see one of these green circles uh dark said and i think rightly so um that it, it's better to have too many people saying it than nobody saying it um but we would also do that with the blue circle sometimes and i know that would help me out um yeah, and then that's really pretty much it. Um, this was my first raid and I was super excited um, because it ended up being a really fun time. I really enjoyed the group we were with um, and I didn't feel incompetent while I was doing it, which is totally what I thought would happen. This was actually one of my first times playing a support class. I don't know how well I did it. Um, I didn't really hear any complaints, but I think I was one of two people um, who was playing like as a healer. So I think that was more of just like the idea of um, there wasn't really anybody there to make me look bad um though bear was doing an awesome job um important things to remember um the green circles were the things that were giving us the biggest trouble um but when we were able to kind of stick as a group and we were kind of all on the same page that really alleviate, alleviated any problems we had with it um and then the red guy only takes condition damage um and that's really it i think i've just been repeating myself a lot but that's okay Thank you for watching this, and I hope I can do this raid with you guys sometime. I was thinking maybe you should come with me. Come with me. Just play your song and I'll accompany. Company. We know the greatest things in life are free. So I invested my money in your company. Like where you wanna go, girl, I'll take you there. Let me put another 